After months of diplomatic wrangling, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe was given another lease on life at its annual ministerial council meeting last week. The result of a complex compromise between Russia and West but instead of ushering in a period of renewed efforts to repair Europe's broken security order, existing fault lines deepened and new ones emerged. The roots of OSCE date back to period of serious attempts at détente between USA and USSR in 1970s. It is now the world's largest regional security organization, with 57 participating states spanning three continents. But its ability to fulfill its mandate of providing security has been seriously compromised in recent years. While Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 was latest and most egregious violation of the OSCE's core principles, it was not first Russia's invasion Georgia 2008, followed by Kremlin-backed recognition independence Abkhazia and South Ossetia in August, was followed by annexation Crimea and occupation parts Donbass 2014. Russia also deliberately undermined existing OSCE missions in Ukraine. The Observer Mission, established July 2014 to monitor activities at key Russian-Ukrainian border checkpoints in eastern Ukraine, was discontinued September 2021. Meanwhile, the Special Observation Mission, established March 2014 to observe and report on the security situation in Ukraine impartially and objectively, was closed March 2022, weeks after Russia launched its all-out invasion. The office the Project Coordinator Ukraine, which was established at the request of Kiev in 1999 to help it overcome a number security problems and to assist and advise on reforms was closed June 2022. All these attempts ended with Russia vetoing their continuation. But none this prevented Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov from declaring at last meeting that OSCE had become an extension of NATO and EU and found itself on brink abyss. On this last point at least, there is little disagreement. The OSCE is experiencing the deepest crisis in its history. Due to Russia's veto, the organization has not had an approved budget since 2021. The organization survived only on the basis of creative diplomacy. Individual member states find money to finance their missions. Feeling of instability the compromises reached at last week's Council of Ministers in Skopje do little to put the OSCE on a more sustainable footing. Although Malta's appointment as president organization for 2024 averted complete dysfunction, terms office other senior officials organization, including secretary general, were extended by only nine months instead customary three-year period. This will only prolong existing suffering by postponing the decision of who will lead the organization and its institutions. The pervasive sense of instability that now surrounds OSCE fits neatly into the Kremlin's narrative about need for a fundamentally new and different European security order. Al.